welcome to this episode of Retro Rinks. I'm, of course, your host, Jeff Nash. On this episode, we're heading to Pittsburgh to repay a visit to the Civic Arena. Now, this series will be about rinks I haven't been to, so this won't be really a review of what I like or don't like about these rinks, but rather some interesting facts about the history of each one. If you're new to hockey, I'm sure you're gonna learn something new about these old barns, and if you're not new to hockey, Hopefully this will be a little trip down memory lane. What I hope comes from this series are stories from fans telling me their favorite memories in the comments down below. Can't wait to read some of your memories of these buildings. If you happen to cross this video and you like what you see, hit me up with a like and a subscription. It really helps me out. And stay tuned as I have a bunch of rinks to get through in this series. And with that, let's get into it. Construction of Civic Arena began March 12th, 1958, and it opened September 17th, 1961. It cost $22 million to build and was owned by the Sports and Exhibition Authority of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. Its seating capacity was 16,940. It was closed on June 26, 2010, and demolition was completed on March 31st, 2012. It stood for close to 50 years. Now, the Civic Arena went by many names over its lifetime. Known to citizens as the Civic Auditorium or Mellon Arena, to Penn's fans, it was more affectionately called the Igloo for its resemblance to an ice igloo. It was rumored that the name of the NHL franchise, Pittsburgh Penguins, was born out of the shape of the building. The building was originally designed for the Pittsburgh Civic Light Opera by Edgar J. Kaufman and was primarily built to house concerts and performances. But the opera only lasted about 10 years in the building because of the acoustics of the building. Its signature dome roof was designed to be retractable and was the first retractable roof in a major sports venue in the world. I mean, come on. How cool is that? Can you imagine what that must have looked like back in the day having this giant dome open to the sky? Can you imagine what an outdoor classic in that arena would have been like? It was comprised of eight sections, six of which would fold into the other sections. The whole structure was held in place by a giant cantilever structure on the outside of the dome. The top end of that support structure held all the roof sections and the center hung scoreboard. The whole building was an engineering marvel. Now the roof would be open for many events over the years. However, this function was halted in 1995 because of maintenance costs and mounting costs of replacing hydraulic jacks used to open the sections of the roof. The roof was permanently closed after 2001. Movie fans may also recognize this arena in the 1995 Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, Sudden Death. On the hockey front, the Pittsburgh Penguins would enter the NHL in 1967 and called the Civic Arena home for 45 seasons. When the Penguins first broke into the league, the seating capacity was 12,508, which was only eight seats over the NHL's minimum seating benchmark. The Penguins' first NHL game was October 11, 1967, with a 2-1 loss to the Montreal Canadiens. The following 45 NHL seasons would see a ton of hockey history take place under its dome. The Penguins would win three Stanley Cup championships while playing at the Igloo, but unfortunately for Penns fans, they would never actually win a cup on home ice, instead winning their cups in Chicago, Detroit, and Minnesota. I think Penns fans will always tie that arena to Mario Lemieux and Yarmar Yager and all the success they brought to the team. The franchise's next superstar, Sidney Crosby, would play his first five NHL seasons at the Civic Arena before turning the page and ushering in a new era of Penguins hockey at the current PPG Paints Arena that was built right across the street. Mario and Crosby gave fans a bunch of memories. Mario's last goal before retirement, scoring in his first game coming out of retirement, his oh baby goal against the Minnesota North Stars, Crosby's assist where he outdueled Jason Spezza four times to set up a goal in the NHL playoffs, and how about that shootout winner against Montreal in Crosby's first NHL season? Yes, those two players alone filled that arena with cups and amazing hockey memories. Now, going back to Lemieux, he would go on to buy the Penguins in 1999, and he quickly started exploring building a new facility, being that the Civic Arena at the time was the NHL's oldest rink. After years of negotiating, the Sports and Exhibition Authority of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County, along with Lemieux and the Penguins, decided to build a new rink right across the street from the Civic Arena. And on August 14, 2008, they broke ground on the new arena, marking the beginning of the end of the Civic Arena. Because the Penguins were in the playoffs, they didn't quite know when the last game was going to be played at Mellon Arena. So they had a cool ceremony on the last regular season game and invited Penguins alumni to help celebrate the occasion. The last game to be played at Mellon Arena was back on May 12, 2010, during the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game seven against the Montreal Canadiens saw the Penguins lose the game and the series 5-2 with Jordan Stahl scoring the last ever Pittsburgh Penguins goal and the last NHL player to score a goal inside Mellon Arena was Brian Gianta in the third period to make it 5-2. Once the Penguins moved into the new arena, an effort was made to save the arena as part of a redevelopment plan 
in and around both the Civic Center and the new Console Energy Center. The group that tried to save the arena argued that the building was worth protecting and saving because something like it would never be built again. And they were right. But ultimately the decision was made to demolish the Civic Arena. The cost of the demolition was around 12 to 15 million dollars and was completed on March 31st, 2012. Right now there's proposals out there to revitalize the old site of the Civic Arena. On May 26, 2021, there was a proposal by the Pittsburgh Urban Redevelopment Authority to the tune of $1 billion, which would include an office tower for the new headquarters for First National Bank, a concert venue, and other buildings and green spaces. It currently still remains a parking lot and pedestrian way to this day. All right, Pittsburgh fans, now it's time to share your stories of the old building. Even if it's not hockey related, leave me a comment down below of your memories of the old Civic Arena. If you're on social, follow me at underscore the ranks on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and tag me in a photo or a story. I'd love to hear what it was like seeing a game in that old barn. Stay tuned to this channel as I have more old NHL arenas on retro rinks around the league. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you next time.